Hey guys, and welcome to today's MCAT question of the day. As always, we'll be working through one of the many MCAT practice problems found at MCATselfprep.com, the home of the free MCAT prep course. I'm Dalton, a 100th percentile MCAT tutor, and today I'll be walking through this problem with you as though you're one of my private tutoring students. Today's problem comes from the end of lesson mastery quiz in lesson four of the biology two module. Be sure to hit pause and try this problem on your own before watching my explanation. Now to really nail this question, we have to understand a little bit about ADH and how it works. ADH is a hormone that's released from the posterior pituitary gland in the brain, as you can see here in this strangely square-shaped head that I've drawn. ADH is released by the posterior pituitary gland and it comes down to the nephrons in the kidneys. Now the nephrons have several parts. A few key parts are the proximal convoluted tubule, which is this squiggly part up here, the loop of Henle, which is this U-shaped loop, and the distal convoluted tubule over here. Finally, a really important part of the nephron, and actually the part where ADH acts, is going to be the collecting duct, which is this large section here. What ADH does is ADH binds to the basolateral side of the collecting duct, which basically means the outside of the tube. So ADH is going to come to the collecting duct, and I've drawn a blown up collecting duct right here. It's going to bind to the outside, and it's going to cause special channels called aquaporins to bind to the membrane on the inside of the tunnel, right here next to the lumen, which is what we call the inside of the tube here. These aquaporins allow water to come out of the collecting duct and go back into the blood. And so we reabsorb a lot of that water. So that's what ADH does. And knowing that will help us to answer this question. Awesome. Now let's go back to our question and see what we can figure out. Essentially, what's going on here is we have a group of researchers who are injecting ADH into the lumen of nephrons. Now remember, the lumen is the inside of the tube near the PCT, which stands for proximal convoluted tubule, that section of the nephron that we mentioned earlier. And it wants to know what response we should expect. First option, no response because ADH will not reach its receptors. Well, that makes a ton of sense because remember, two important things about the receptors for ADH. First, they're on the basolateral side, which means they're outside of the lumen. They're on the outside of the tube. Here, the ADH is being injected into the lumen, and so it won't interact with the receptors. It's on the wrong side of the cells. Second, it says the ADH is being injected near the proximal convoluted tubule. But remember, the ADH receptors are in the collecting duct, not the PCT. So this answer is going to be our correct answer. Let's go through these other ones real quick and remind ourselves why they might be incorrect. Decreased blood volume because ADH will displace aquaporins from the membrane. Well, we know ADH works with aquaporins, but remember, ADH causes the aquaporins to move towards the membrane, not to be displaced away from the membrane. ADH actually does the opposite. So let's cross this off. Next option increased blood volume because aquaporins will increase water reabsorption. Well, that's exactly what aquaporins do. That's exactly what ADH does. But remember, the ADH is being injected into the wrong part of the nephron. And so that won't actually happen. It won't reach its receptors. Finally, increased sodium uptake because ADH stimulates aldosterone secretion. This is tempting too, but we want to remember that it's actually angiotensin II that stimulates aldosterone secretion, not ADH. Easy to get the two confused. If you want a review, check out the last MCAT question of the day where we talk about angiotensin II and the RAAS system. So this is going to be incorrect. Let's check our answer. Perfect. Awesome. If you loved this MCAT question of the day, be sure to give it a like. For more MCAT questions of the day, be sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel or enroll in our free MCAT prep course found at MCATselfprep.com. If you'd really like to maximize your MCAT score, be sure to check out our elite tutoring services and schedule a free consultation with any of our available tutors. We'd love to talk with you about your situation and how you can maximize your MCAT score. Look forward to hearing from you and we'll see you next time.